Hey everybody, it's the Mount Manny back again today. Today I'm showing you my LTD Viper 500S. It was made between 2006 and 2008 where it was discontinued. It features the Irvana compensated nut, which they had to quit making because Irvana was had a cease and desist from Ernie Ball, Music Man, because they already had a compensated nut. This thing has an ebony fretboard with 24 frets. I would never guess that to be honest with you. I believe this was a 22 fret guitar. I just I looked it up the specs to make sure I had everything down before I started. The Ebony Fret War 24 frets, active EMGs 81 and 85, Grover tuners, mahogany body. I think this is a 2006 model. As you can see, she is black. I call her Blackie because why would you not? Know, everybody has a Blackie. But if you have a black guitar, why do you call it? That's Blackie. 500S compensated nut with a little bit of work done to it LTD and the covers off because it's just easier to change the batteries why would you put that back on there fuck with it all the time there you have my son's stickers over the uh, pot cover It's not, not, a, not a big solo on guitar. Not a lot of reach in there. And the girl over tuners. You notice right here, there's a serious break in the headstock, and I, uh, it come on, worked its way down the headstock, down the neck. Years ago, we lived in an old, old house. We woke up one night to a clang, and my guitar was hanging like this, but was laying over there. Believe what you want, know what you want. If you live in old houses and you've been around, you know things, and if you haven't, then you don't know, so let's not get into that. But anyway, I took it to the guy, and he put a wood screw where the S is on the ESP. That hurt me badly. It didn't actually work for a while, but my dad's like, if you saw the videos I have, uh, the thumbnail has a uh, wooden bowl. My dad is a master craftsman with wood. So we pull it apart pretty good, cram it full of Loctite super glue and put a clamp on it and let it sit for a few hours. And it's been together ever since. Wood putty and a file and a black Sharpie. And we actually doctored it up. And without me showing, most people can't tell. It literally had uh, cracked the wood so far that it fell over the other day. And you could see down here at the bottom where I showed you, the truss rod was exposed. So I put the little pieces on it, used the uh, wood putty Put it all back together, sanded it down, sharpied it up, and stays it to me and plays. And nobody knows but me unless I show them, so I don't care. It's my guitar forever. I'll never part with this thing anyway. The tones will be coming through my usual. My PV is too loud for the house. So I use my Fender Princeton Chorus. I use running through my preamp pedal and a EQ pedal, which is the classic Behringer. EQ 700 that I painted black because why would they make them yellow? It's so ugly. The more preamp pedal is the 011 Cali Dual because everybody wants a Mesa Boogie sound. I have a main squeeze that is always on because I read where a compressor can give that sag like a tube amp to a guitar that does it. And I don't know if it does or not, but it really does something to my amp I like. I always use a Noah suppressor and we have the DD7, Boss DD7 on for some modulation. So let's hear some clean tones. pickups.
pick up, you know, most of them are shh, which it may not be coming across well because I use an iPhone. Because remember, I'm the budget dude doing budget stuff. But, all right, let's try some high gain tones. We're going to use the AMT R1, which is a triple rectifier type uh, gain stage pedal. And let's see what we can do with that. Attack overdrive to back that up because it kind of tightens that up. take a little bit on reverb right now it is a beast of a guitar I mean if you're especially if you're playing metal and hard rock which is pretty much exclusively what I do but I do enjoy acoustic I have a few friends out there that play this rock and stuff and I support everybody that supports me because I mean I just love music period it doesn't matter what you play this is the mountain man signing off thank you guys for watching subscribe support everybody else subscribe to their channels it doesn't matter if you like every video there's always going to be something to watch, so enjoy. Support the local music, no matter where you're from. These guys work hard and they play hard. They work just like we do. So, peace out. <laughs>